today's video, we are back with some squatting. So like I talked about in my last video, if you tuned in, uh, we're gonna do some dead stop front squatting to help you get out of your clean. And then two, some back squats, just for some positioning work. And I also really like putting my front squat before my back squat because front squat, I tend to use a little bit more quad and back, back squat, I can really get into my hamstrings and my glutes. So today what we're gonna do is build to a moderate or heavy-ish set of three in seven sets of a dead stop front squat. So I'm two sets in and I'm uh, feeling pretty good. So hopefully I'll hit a, a good solid three today. And then I'm gonna take that into five sets of one pause back squat. So focusing on sitting back, being able to pause for two to three seconds and then drive hard out of the hole into two regular speed back squats. So let's get to it. Well, I woke up on the lobby floor. Yeah, that's not what's the kind of what. I'm coming out like a waterfall. I'll jump off one, but you never come. Lost in the ceiling, caught up in the ceiling. I can't seem to let you go. Locked in this cage, I've been stuck here for days and I can't seem to let you go. You pull me up and I put you down. You gave me love, then I stole your crown. You let me in, then I pushed you out. Pushed you out, pushed you out. Come let me make up for all these pain. I've been a mess, tied by all these chains. Open my eyes now, I can't be seen. It's not our key. Yeah, can we be free? So, dead stop front squat, snuck up on me. Um, I ended up hitting, instead of just a heavy three, I made a bigger jump than I should have, so I definitely learned for next week when we do this again, um, what that line is gonna be. So I ended up doing three sets of three at 225, because that was hard enough, and if I jumped any more, I was gonna fail. So, um, for the dead stop front squat, the reason I love it is I know all of us, we've all caught cleans on our heels, where we're stuck in the bottom, and we don't have a bounce. We have no momentum, we're just down there. We have to figure out how to create the power to drive out of the hole. And I think a lot of this one mimics that. And then two, it teaches us to get set in the bottom. So when we're in the bottom, or when we're normally squatting, we always get set at the top and we're ready and we catch a little bit of momentum out of the hole. But when we have no momentum, we have to learn how to engage our hamstrings and our glutes and keep our midline nice and tight. So when I get set, you would notice each time, one, I wanna make sure my bar's even, and then we want to find our squat position and then pull ourselves under. So I'm in a really active position. I'm driving my knees out hard and I'm actively pressing up into the bar. I can feel a whole lot of hamstring and glute in this position and I can feel my midline is tight. Uh, sets one and two, or reps one and two, tended to be a little bit better. Rep three got a little spicy and I tended to use my quads just a little bit more. I'm looking forward to adding more of these into my training, getting a really strong clean out of the hole and also improving my front squat position. All right, today I've got a push-pull combo with a little bit of legs. So always legs, it's always leg day. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is every, or I'm gonna do five rounds, three minute AMRAP, one minute rest. So it's gonna be 12, 15, 12 cal echo bike into two rope climbs to 15 foot six shouldered overhead and then AMRAP pistols and the remaining time, then I get a minute break. So my score over the five rounds will be the total pistols that I got. Should be a really good one.
scratch the surface. Yeah, we started at the bottom with no option but to go up. You know what hurt is when you don't up with no love. When you knew how to die for you under her. When you fall in the street or you pull the gun. And let it off at the eyes and you so drugs. Uh, now I'm rolling through the city. Living at the top of my world. At the top of my world. Waking up to new views in the morning up under my girl. Yeah, this is what it's been like. This is what it been like. You see it from the top. All right, guys, I just got done. Um, that was an awesome workout. I love that time frame, three on, one off. So your heart rate keeps going up each set. I actually adjusted it. So I did a warm up round of what I told you, and I didn't do that because I was getting too much time on the pistols, and we wanted a little bit more bike, rope climb, shouldered overhead. So I ended up going 15 cows on the Echo bike. So, guys, you'd be 20, three rope climbs, eight shouldered overhead, max rep pistols. And my goal was to be above 20 every round on the pistols. It was really good. You guys should definitely give that one a go. If you need to make scales, scale the weight out however you need to, 185, 125, or use the version I said at the start of the workout. That would be a really great scaled version as well. Awesome workout. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions about what I was doing, um, any of the movements, make sure to drop them in the comments below. Please, if you like it, smash the like button. I know I say it a lot, but it really does help our channel, and we wanna keep doing this for you guys because we really enjoy it. I hope you guys have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.